what's up? How you doing? How you been? You look fabulous. You look absolutely radiant. Oh, me? Oh, thank you so much. You know, uh, I've been working on my skincare routine a little bit, drinking a lot of water. You know, hydration is key. Uh, oh, oh, that? Oh, oh, this? Oh, it's it's nothing. It's just a little small, you know, a little, little play button to commemorate uh, all the awesome people that have been following me over on my YouTube channel. Oh, oh, that's you. Oh, right. That's you. How could I be so silly to have forgotten? I don't know how to end this thing. I've been sitting here trying to film an intro for like literally 12 minutes. And I don't know how to acknowledge the shiny thing in the background <laughs> other than saying thank you so much for being here, for subscribing. I'm so happy to finally be able to to do this thing in the background for you guys to show off this thing because this really is not a symbol of me. This is a symbol of you guys and this is a thanks to you. Um, I wouldn't have this shiny little thing if it weren't for you and I really appreciate that. As somebody who's been watching YouTube videos since I was literally 12, uh, back in the days of Fred, Unforgivable, all the viral videos, uh, of the early 2000s. Um, I never thought that I would be at this point, truthfully, where I would have a plaque of my own, have a little play button of my own. I really never thought that that was ever in the realm of possibility. I'm just so happy to be able to make videos for you guys. So the real joy for me is just getting to interact with you guys on this platform that I completely forgot that, that this, is, this is a thing. And this is also just like a symbol of you guys. So thank you so much for being here, for subscribing. If you're not subscribed and you're watching a lot of my videos, maybe consider subscribing one of these days. I don't know why I did this. Pointing to the thing, I guess. Subscribe. For those of you who are curious, I did do an unboxing of the play button over on my Instagram. If you missed that story over on my Instagram, I did a little highlight of it, so it's on my profile. If you guys wanna watch my reaction to opening the package. Ah, so exciting. Oh. That's where I tend to do a lot of little fun posts on my Instagram and Twitter that I don't do anywhere else. So make sure to follow me over there if that kind of stuff interests you. But with that thanks and that little surprise announcement out of the way, I do want to get into the video now and the movie we're going to be watching today is The Martian. I had no idea when I put it in the poll on Patreon. It's actually directed by Ridley Scott. I liked Ridley Scott's work before I even started my YouTube channel. A lot of you guys know when I watched Alien here on this channel, it was not for the first time I'd seen Alien before. I've also seen Thelma and Louise before. I think Thelma and Louise is a good movie. It's not necessarily like one of my favorites, but I did really enjoy it. And just to know that there's a director out there who can do a great job with a script like Thelma and Louise, Alien, Gladiator. To this day, Alien, I think is is on my top 10 in terms of movies that I've seen, just because I think it's a cinematic masterpiece. Gladiator, same thing. I just felt like it was such a cinematic masterpiece, so beautiful, executed in a gorgeous way, in a heartfelt, moving way. I literally wept while watching it because I couldn't help but weep. It just hit me in the heart in every way. And um, because of, those two movies, I'm really excited to watch The Martian with you guys. Also, The Martian has a pretty stacked cast I'm seeing. Matt Damon is the lead. We've got a lot of folks that we've seen in a lot of different Marvel movies here on this channel. People like Benedict Wong, Sebastian Stan, Chiwetel Ejiofor, who we've also seen in Serenity. I'm really excited to see him in particular because in the things that I've seen him in, I really like his work and it's it's particularly making me want to watch 12 Years a Slave for the first time because I know that that will be a heavier piece, but I've really enjoyed his work in the few things that I've seen him in at this point. I think he's a phenomenal actor and I hope that the part that he plays in this movie uh, has some substantial moments to it because I really like getting to see him play a lot on screen. I don't know what this movie is about. I just know that a lot of the folks on Patreon were really excited for me to get to this one. It definitely swept the polls when I put it in a poll. If I had to guess, I would assume it's about a guy who has to go to Mars. Maybe he gets stuck there. Maybe his job is to go there and try to see if it's possible to form a colony or to live on Mars. I don't know. I, I, I kind of have a feeling Matt Damon might be alone in space 
for a lot of this movie just because of the cover of him in an astronaut suit. But I could be totally wrong. My guesses aren't always right. That's just based off of the title. I do believe that this is based off of a book. I'm pretty sure that's what I read. I could be wrong. But at this point, I think I've talked long enough and I am ready to just hop on into another movie with you guys. So with that being said, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Oh, I'm really, actually, I'm really interested to see what the art design is like for this movie because I remember Alien, I remember the art design being really beautiful of the planets, not the alien. <laughs> Axidalia planetia. Uh, happy to turn the radios off from here, Commander. Constant communication is the hallmark Shut him of off. any team that... No. <laughs> that actually seems dangerous. You probably need to be able to communicate all the time. You don't want to get too comfortable on a planet. We have a mission update. Storm warning. Oh, of course. We'll be inside before it hits. Uh, no. Yeah, get in now. Go, look, it's windy. It's scary. I'm scared. Not good. That is terrifying! People are gonna die. People, so many people are gonna die in this movie, guys. Begin abort procedure. You should have waited out. Uh, Jessica Chastain doesn't like that. Oh my god, get up there quick, dude. Oh, I'm so scared. I, I, I feel like a lot of people are gonna die. Visibility's almost zero. Oh, goody. Oh, oh, they're going out there to collect the stuff they need to collect. Are you serious? Are they going out to collect the data they need? This doesn't seem worth it. Just get off the planet. Oh, people are so gonna die. Matt Damon is gonna get stranded, isn't he? Anger with the rover. Oh, that thing, oh no. Oh, there he goes, there goes Matt Damon. What about you, Commander? She's gonna look for Watney. Oh my God, he got lost so quick. Mark is dead. The movie's been, no he's not. He's not dead, but it's been like five minutes. Oh my God, Jessica Chastain, come on. Jessica! Please tell me she makes it back to the ship. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Guys, I'm so stressed. Jessica, climb the ladder. Oh my God, I'm so stressed. Oh, okay, we're fine. Okay, we only lost Matt Damon and I kind of had a feeling we were gonna lose him. I just didn't think it'd be in the first like freaking eight minutes. This is already so stressful. Oh, the empty seat, the empty seat with the light moving over it, passing slowly, so dramatic. Okay, I have a feeling that Mark is gonna have to spend this entire movie trying to find a way to get a signal back to Earth to be like, I'm still here. <laughs> Oxygen level critical. Oh, you don't wanna hear that. That's not a good thing to hear. Does he have like a backup or something? <laughs> what are you gonna do, Matt? Oh, we got it to stop beeping. Wait, is he, oh crap, he was impaled. He was impaled? Oh no. <laughs> He's attached to the satellite! Oh god! Okay, good, good, good job. Oh, there's a station. They had set up a station. There must be backup stuff in there. Now he's got to take care of his wound. You got to be prepared for so many different situations. Was ripping it out fast the best move? I mean, I know rip it off like a band-aid is a phrase, but your organs are in there, dude. What is he, what is he looking for? I mean, you've been impaled. What, you, what is that? What is that? What is that? Whoa, 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 a lot of blood. Oh no, I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch, no, 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 no. Is he pulling things out of his body? He's pulling things out of his body. This is, ah, uh -huh. <laughs> there's so many medical parts. What is still in there? Ah, uh -huh. uh, he's got so much blood. How did, how did, how did, how did hair and makeup do this? <laughs> Was that the end of it? You gotta be sure, right? Oh, he's gonna, okay, stapling himself up. Ah, gross. Oh, I feel so bad for him. This is awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, <laughs> is an understatement. I swear to God, you guys, if the Wi-Fi is not working. Surprise. <laughs> this length of our primary communications antenna broke off. The primary communications. Oh no. I have no way to contact NASA. Oh no. Four years until a manned mission can reach me. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, so this isn't, this isn't necessarily him signaling for them to come back. It's, it's a castaway situation, but on Mars. All right, don't worry, Matt Damon. You just need a volleyball. <laughs> this is all gonna work out fine. I'm not gonna die here. Wow, I wonder if the majority of this movie was just him having to act by himself. We just ended up being alone in space so much earlier than I thought we would. You know, guys, I kind of thought it was going to be like halfway through the movie. I didn't think it was going to be in the first act. So going to do the math on how much food he has. It's all astronaut food, which is sad. It's better than what Tom Hanks had on that island. <laughs> Did he just piece something together about the vacuum toilet? <laughs> Thanksgiving food? What is that? I got to figure out a way. 
to grow. Oh, he's gonna try to grow food on Mars. That's so cool. I'm a botanist. <laughs> I like how he's becoming a vlogger <laughs> to keep himself sane. Look at the, oh, organic waste. He was thinking about fertilizer, I see. Oh, cause it comes out in a vacuum, a little vacuum bag. Wow, that's hilarious. He's gonna use his own poop. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, he's gonna figure out how to have life on Mars. That's cool. You know, the scariest thing about all this is like, I think I wouldn't want to implode. Like I'd be terrified if a breach happened in the building. Oh, f you Mars. Are a lot of Matt Damon's lines just gonna be like, f f you, f f <laughs> He said the F word a lot already in this movie. Uh, I can't believe he's using human, human feces. This is so gross. Like cow manure stinks. I can't even imagine a uh, human. Are those potatoes? Oh yeah. I worry that the roots aren't gonna be able to go deep enough. I don't know. I know nothing about growing plants though. The problem is water. Good thing is I know the recipe. What's the recipe? H2O? And then if I just direct the hydrogen into a small area and burn it. Oh God. Everything they sent us up here with is flame retardant with the notable <laughs> exception of Martinez's personal items. Oh. Is that a cross? He's using the cross. Oh, this is so bad. I can't, oh my God, he's burning a cross. That's so <laughs> up. <laughs> yep, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Oh my God, you still have eyebrows. That's weird. I would have sworn your eyebrows would have been gone if your shirt is singed like that. <laughs> now he's wearing a suit. Is it raining now? That's hilarious. Or no, it's the condensation in there. Wow, he's made a lot of water. That's smart. He's making it condensate so that it just does it for him. It waters the plants. Solar panels, great. We love a sustainable situation. <laughs> Oh, there it is, a little sprout. He did it. I'm glad this is going well for him so far, but something's about to go completely wrong. It's been too easy. While his loss will be deeply felt. Oh my God, they're literally throwing a funeral. Not throwing, having. Oh my God, they think he's dead. Oh geez. There is Chiwetel. Hello. There's half a mission worth of supplies up there. Oh, he wants to go back and get the supplies that Matt Damon is using. I think you should listen to Chiwetel. Is this even, is this like close to what mission control at NASA actually looks like? Like, if so, that's pretty cool. Oh, my glasses look kind of like hers. Just a little bit, you know? Okay. She's seeing the movement. Yes. Oh boy. They're figuring it out. You've got to be Hey, Kristen Wiig. <laughs> wow, there's so much swearing in this movie. It's kind of funny. No, no, if Watney is really alive, we don't want the Ares 3 crew to know. Oh, they're still on the journey back, I see. I mean, what does that do to a man psychologically? Are we gonna cut to him having a good time because he grew plants? I'm definitely gonna die up here. <laughs> oh. If I have to listen to any more god awful disco music. <laughs> I love some disco music, man. My wedding is gonna be like 50% disco music. The other 50% will be Motown and Van Morrison. The next NASA mission is Ares 4, and it's supposed to land at Schiaparelli Crater, 3,200 kilometers away. Oh my god, is he planning a journey? I'm gonna have to science the out of this. I don't know. A lot of the lines in this movie are kind of like cheesy and hammy to me so far. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's like just like a lot of swearing, which I don't mind swearing, but it's just a lot of like silly swearing and just like silly hamminess so far. But the stakes are really high and that's cool. It involves me digging up the radioisotope thermoelectric generator. I have a decaying radioactive isotope riding right behind. Oh God, isn't he exposing himself to crazy amounts of radiation then? Where is Watney going? Well, we believe that he's preparing for a journey. He is. Oh wow, they're really studying him. They're really studying him. I'm glad they're paying attention. Attention. We need to tell the crew. Oh, hey, Sean Bean. They deserve to know. Yeah, they do deserve to know, but they might want to turn around. I now have 400 healthy potato plants. Oh my God. I mean, that's good, but I mean, potatoes last a while, but not forever. You need to live on potatoes. I know what I'm going to do. Oh boy. What are you going to do, Mark? I'm going to keep alternating between calling him Mark and Matt. They're just, the names are so close. I get nervous whenever he goes far away, you know, like like a storm might come in and take him out or something. It's Acidalia Planitia. There's nothing out there except the... What? He pieced it together where Matt Damon's going? Now he's in Pasadena? Man, I like seeing Chiwetel as uh, one of the good guys in this movie. He's really uh, motivated to help out the main character, because I've seen him as the villain a lot. Even in like Doctor Strange, he ended, he's likely gonna be the villain in the next Doctor Strange movie. What is this? What are you doing, Matt? What's down there? Is it like another laboratory? What is it? Pathfinder. 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 Oh, I wonder if it's like a way to communicate. Oh, did he get it back to his home? Oh, okay, he commuted it back to his home. That's good. 
Oh, it just happened to beep. He got it to start up. Uh, signal fire. This is all thanks to Chiwetel Ejiofor being able to read Matt Damon's mind. What's the next step, dude? Is it a photo message? Ah, uh, it's a photo message. <gasps> He's writing on a board. Oh my gosh. Are you receiving me? No or yes. Oh my God. He's so smart. This won't exactly be an Algonquin round table of snappy repartee. Yeah. Tim. What is wrong with you, Tim? Oh, he pointed it the right way. Oh my God. I almost got so mad at Tim. Wow. Good job. Tim is a jerk. Hexadecimals to the rest of you. I figured one of you guys kept an ASCII table lying around. These are, this, this jargon is like a foreign language to me. I know where he's going with this. Okay, Tim. Are you getting with the program, Tim? You're gonna have to be a fast speller. Oh, they built the same thing. Nice. Oh, so the numbers correlate with letters. Interesting. How? How alive? How are you alive? Is that what they're asking? Does it matter? I think you should focus on how to get to him and how long he has. NASA can link the rover to Pathfinder's broadcasting frequency and we're in business. Okay, see, this is cool. I will say though, it's kind of nerve wracking because if you make one little mistake in the message and it gets interpreted wrong, that's, that's kind of scary. It's like how I feel typing on a typewriter. <laughs> How's the crew? What did they say when they found out I was alive? Oh, they don't know yet. Yep, 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 yep. Guys, can we get some space, please? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tim, get the f out of here. <laughs> you gotta say something, Chiwetel. You can't leave him hanging. Another swearing moment, but we just silenced it. They don't know I'm alive? What the F word? <laughs> Sean Bean smiling. Type is being broadcast live all over the world. <laughs> Oh boy, oh, oh boy. I'm sure he didn't mean what he said. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, of course he meant what he said. He's in a high stakes, stressful situation, dang it. God, I like that Sean Bean just was beaming. He was beaming. It's been four months since they left that planet. I really hope they're not like, we should turn around, because that would concern me. Mark Watney's still alive. We found out two months ago and uh... Decided not to tell you. God. Two months. They feel so bad, because two months they probably felt like they could have turned around. You had no other choice, girl. I mean, you thought he was dead. You couldn't see him. So, technically, I colonized Mars. So far, this has all been a little too easy. I'm waiting for a big, stressful moment to happen again. Because we got some pretty scary stuff in the beginning of the movie, and since then, he's just been like, oh, I'll just grow some potatoes and find this communication system, no problem. I'm like waiting for an intense moment where he's faced with a real challenge again, where you think he might not make it. I want to announce we're launching some supplies to him next year during the home and transfer window. This is really high stakes for this crew because if they fail this mission and he died, like that would not go over well because the whole world knows about it. I hate this margin. 912 souls worth of food. We get there on 868. Yeah. And that's assuming nothing goes wrong. And things are gonna go wrong. Oh, okay. Things are about to go wrong. I asked for it. I'm ready for to get real. Yeah, I'd say that's going wrong. <laughs> I'd say that that's some pretty intense going not to plan. What if it broke like the communication? Suit breach detected. Oh, that's far worse. Oh, he has duct tape on him. That's good. Duct tape fixes everything. Okay. Ten oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Five percent. Five. Oh Jesus. Oh no, so now the whole, he's gonna have to expose the whole building to decompress, like de decompression. Yeah. Oh no, all of his plants. Oh, it was, our oh no, it was ripped. All of his plants. They're all gonna die, aren't they? How is he gonna survive? Oh, this is really bad. I really asked for something to go wrong and it really did. Wow, his plants froze already. Man, you gotta, he's gotta think fast with like 5% oxygen. Pressure, stable. Oh boy, at least he's got this. That's good. And he knows how to communicate with people now. Where's that radioactive isotope? You gotta spend a lot of time with that radioactive isotope now. God, 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 God. Yeah, he's upset. All of his hard work gone. I'd be, I'd be pretty pissed too. This is kind of like in Castaway when Wilson floated off into the ocean. Sorry if you've never seen Castaway. We're gonna have to launch as soon as possible, which changes our travel time. 
Oh yeah, yeah. You know, this movie takes on a whole different meaning. Just being isolated in a pandemic. I mean, my situation's a lot better. I have a grocery store. <laughs> and uh, oxygen, but like, I, I just think about how isolated he must feel and longing for human contact. And, and I do resonate with that a little bit. <laughs> What's he gonna do with all this stuff? Is he gonna like try to repair it? Is that even possible? He's gonna try. Oh, it held up. Oh, he's gonna trust that? I wouldn't trust that. I'd be terrified of that ripping at any moment, to be honest. Honestly, I'd be too scared to take my helmet off. Rich, wake up. Oh, Donald Glover's in this movie now? Oh. <laughs> I have that trash can and I've totally accidentally spilled liquid in that. I literally have that. Wow! Heck, it'd almost be easier if you, um... Oh, did he just figure it out? He just figured it out, didn't he? I need more coffee. Um. Oh my god, I really like him as a dorky scientist. <laughs> I really dig him as this character. How often do those inspections reveal a problem? Probably most of the time. Why are you suggesting we don't do the inspections? Does anyone else know a safer way to buy more time? Uh, wait, what about the people that are going on the rescue mission that are risking their lives? Or is it just a probe with nobody on it? I'm now eating one of these every three days. Oh, God. You gotta be good at math to be stranded in space. It's not really my strong suit. I'm gonna dip this potato in some crushed Vicodin. Oh, I'm glad, I'm happy for you that you have that. I'm sure that doesn't taste good though. Although I'm sure you're sick of potatoes. It has been seven days since I ran out of ketchup. Oh. <laughs> I'm, oh, that's so sad. <laughs> He's keeping track of the days since he ran out of sauce. Lift off. Was that a bird on the screen? That bird scared me. I thought it was something going wrong. We're getting a little shimmy flight. They're cheering too soon? Yeah, they cheer too soon. People always cheer too soon. Too soon! I'm like, I feel bad that I'm happy that there's issues, but it just makes the movie better when there's issues. That's a bummer. I wonder where that's gonna land. Hopefully the ocean. Guys, is his crew gonna turn around to save him? I don't know if they have that kind of fuel where they can even do that, but I like wouldn't be surprised if his crew turns around and saves him. Chief Scientist CNSA. Is this, is this like Chinese NASA? <laughs> Cancel it, save him. Oh, I love this. Are, they're gonna step in? This is so great. I love that we're bringing in different countries now. Yes. That moment was a little hammy, heavy handed for me. I, yeah, there's just a lot of hammy acting moments in this. Well, it goes with the script too, I think. I still have no idea what Donald Glover is working on. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out eventually. My name is Rich Purnell. I work in astrodynamics and you should hang up the phone right now. You're really bringing out those crazy eyes, Donald. What the hell is Project Elrond? The Council of Elrond is for, it's from Lord of the Rings. Oh my God, I thought Sean Bean would have a have a moment, maybe quote a character from Lord of the Rings or something, but that's funny. Just the fact that they even referenced it is great. To preserve velocity and gain even more, we don't intercept with Earth at all, but we come close enough to get a gravity assist and adjust course. Now we're going too fast at this point to fall into orbit, but we can do a flyby. What they would intercept using the MAV. <gasps> It sounds way too complicated, but I'm sure it's gonna work. Either have a high chance of killing one person or a low chance of killing six people. Um, how do we make that decision? You ask the crew. Should be Commander Lewis's call. Yeah, it really should be. And I'm not risking their lives. I get it. It's a nightmare if like you lose more than one astronaut. Like if they all go back and they all died, it would be a nightmare. But for the sake of the movie, let's let them decide. You're not gonna do a cool down, girl? You might wanna walk. Bridge Purnell maneuver. It's a course maneuver for the Hermes. Did did Sean Bean's character send all the secret mission info? Because it goes directly against NASA's decision. Yeah. Oh, he did send it. He sent it sneakily. So we do this together or not at all. You could all lose your jobs. You could get arrested. Maybe not, maybe just lose your jobs. Or die, right, die, death, yeah. I guarantee they will never send you back up here again. Good. <laughs> He's like, great, I don't want to come back. I'm done with this. <laughs> You're handsome? <laughs> yes. Uh, <yeah. laughs> oh, they're all such good people. There isn't one of them that they had to convince. They were all just like, we'll do it. <laughs> oh, Sean Bean's gonna lose his job. So the plan is for me to use that to go into orbit. Oh, he's got the plan, he got it. Oh, he knows his crew's coming back. We're gonna get there. He better take all of these video files with him. You can make an epic YouTube series when you get back. 
Oh my god, that's so cool. I want to go in an anti-gravity machine so bad. I'd probably get sick, but it just looks like so much fun. I like this. We're working with different countries. Collaboration. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow, this is kind of sad. They're going to go right by Earth and then just instantly go back in the other direction. Like, that's got to be really hard. Oh god, I'm worried about him. I'm worried about him. I'm worried about him. Because the song is fading out. I'm scared. Are we good? Okay. Moving parts in space are very scary. <laughs> I just see Sebastian Stan's smiling face and I'm like, I don't want anything to happen to him, you know? Oh, he's so skinny. Oh, wow. We're really seeing how thin he's gotten. Oh, and the beard. Now there's a beard? I feel like there wasn't a beard this whole movie, but now there's a beard. I mean, I guess it wasn't as much time, but it's. I do think it's funny that he's just got a beard out of nowhere. <laughs> Where's your helmet? Jesus Christ, man. Dude, <laughs> you don't want to forget that Oh God, you gotta have a checklist. I operate that way in my life. I have very like regimented checklists for things. And usually I mess stuff up when I don't follow them. But if my job was as high stakes as this, I definitely would have crazy checklists. I wonder where they filmed this. I've heard that Death Valley is supposedly one of the places on earth that looks a lot like what they think Mars looks like. But I wonder if they filmed this somewhere else. This this looks very trippy. It doesn't remind me of Death Valley. I feel like they've, I don't know where they filmed it. Beautiful landscape. Look at the artwork for that sky. He has to be going fast. Exactly. Which means uh -huh. we need to make the map lighter. He's not even got to the bad stuff yet. I mean, it's... Well, let's skip to the bad stuff. He hasn't gotten to the bad stuff. We need to remove the nose air lock, the windows, and... The windows! We're going to have him cover it with pad canvas. You want to send him into space under a tarp. Oh, my God. Are you... Are you kidding me? Yeah, see, now a swear word is appropriate. Man, and this is like hoping that there's nothing wrong, like critically wrong with this ship. Well, I guess, I don't know how long it's been out here for. They sent it ahead of time for Ares 4, right? Oh, that's the, okay. Those are the windows, got it. I hope he brought a spare like suit and helmet just in case. I feel like the moral of this story is just like, have lots of spares of things if you plan on going into space. Is there some food up here that he can eat so my man can get a, a, a meal before his uh, potential death? Because my man Matt looking kind of skinny. I can grab the MAV at five meters per second. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, Beck might die or he might get hurt. Let's go get our boy. Ay ay ay! Something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> that's that's too complicated of a plan, I think, for it to go just smoothly. I feel like the chances of that are are slim. Oh wow! It's like New Year's Eve. Oh my goodness, he is a. Uh... Oh god, is he? Does he have scurvy? Is that why his skin is like that? He had that razor the whole time. I guess he was probably saving the battery power. Oh, he's so. He really got thin for this movie. I'm always really impressed when I see how uh, actors are willing to transform their bodies physically, like with massive weight gain or weight loss for certain parts. Mission Control, this is Hermie. Oh, he's hearing his friends. About two minutes, what? Hey, how you doing down there? Oh, oh. I'm anxious to get up to you. He can hear them. Oh, see, this is where we're getting a messy, vulnerable moment from him. I love this. I love this. Oh, he's gonna go so fast. That's scary. That's a scary moment, you know? Oh, I would totally pass out. I'd like vomit in my helmet and then pass out. And then I'd be stupid and take the helmet off because to get rid of the vomit and then I would die. This is crazy. How is the tarp not ripping? Oh, there it goes. He's well below target altitude. Oh no. You gotta do equations so quickly in this situation. This is so crazy. Why do you wake it? Wakey, wakey! Intercept velocity will be 11 meters per second. I can make that work. Oh no. That No, you can't. You just said five was the max you'd be comfortable with. Beck is gonna die, guys. What happens if we blow the valve? Wait, you wanna open the vehicular airlock? It'll give us a good kick. Yeah, but also blow the nose off the ship. <gasps> can you make a bomb with what you have on board? Probably. Uh, he's like, yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> me no likey bombs <laughs> in space. I, I want all the memorials back home to be about me. <laughs> I love him. Oh, I, he's so, he's so funny. Yeah, be careful with that, Beck. Oh, I really think Beck might die. Oh, she kissed his helmet. Don't tell anyone I did that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Guys, now that I've seen that they like each other, I'm <laughs> Bomb set. Get the f out of their back, please. I just don't want to watch Sebastian Stan die again. Even though he really didn't die in the Marvel movies, but it felt like he did. Okay. Bex returned. Johansson, initiate the bomb. Strap in, Beck. Strap in. 
Oh, it, it worked. Oh, it was to slow them down. I see. Still faster than a train, but better. Oh, she's gonna stay in the chair? That's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. It looks kind of silly with her in the chair. Beck, unhook me. I'm going after him. No! I got this. Yeah, let him do it. He's gonna do it. He probably should have done it out of the ship. <laughs> this is so... This is so ridiculous, guys. Oh my god. Close your hand soon, dude. Close your hand! Grab the rope! Grab the rope! Oh my god. Hold, close your other hand. Close your other hand! Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the most high-stakes tango I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, I got him! Oh my god. Clenching my hands so hard. I was like, grab, grab it, grab it. <laughs> wow, th this is really beautiful. You have terrible taste. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we get the f out of here now? I mean, after a trip like that, I'd be like, I don't care if NASA fires me. I'm done with going in space. <laughs> Just get a different job. What is he doing on NASA's like NASA now? Is he a teacher or? Yeah, he's totally a teacher, isn't he? All right. Questions. Oh my God, I will survive. <laughs> I will survive is the is the song for the credits. Are you kidding me? That's hysterical, man. I will say this movie was a lot funnier than I was expecting it to be. Uh, I've definitely seen Matt Damon's hum humor before in other movies and stuff, but I just wasn't expecting this movie to have so much humor in it. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit more dramatic than it was. Don't get me wrong, there were definitely some high stakes moments, uh, especially when I started calling for more things to go wrong and then eventually a lot of things started to go wrong and I really liked that. I like it when things get messy. I think I was just going into this expecting it to make me feel like a lot of other Ridley Scott films have made me feel, particularly, you know, things like Alien or Gladiator where I weep and it's moving and emotional and stressful the whole time. Uh, and this was definitely a lot more lighthearted than I expected. It was a lot of fun. I definitely enjoyed it. I had a good time while watching it. Really liked the soundtrack. I dug all the disco. I do kind of wish that we got more of a moment with the lead character, Mark, going through the dark night of the soul, really having, um, really believing that he was gonna die because even in that speech to Jessica Chastain's character when he was relaying the message for his parents in case he died, I think he even said something like, I don't wanna die, but if I do, here's the message. And I think it just, I don't know, I could have maybe had something even more hopeless from him. I think that would have made for a better arc when he, pulled himself out of it, or maybe somebody sent him a message and that could have pulled him out of it. I kind of like when we get really messy moments from characters where maybe they lose belief or lose faith and then they have to find that again. And I felt like he just didn't really lose as much faith, I guess, as I was expecting. I was still really worried about a lot of the characters, particularly a lot of the supporting characters, mainly Sebastian Stan's character. I was really worried for him, especially once we found out that he had a relationship with an, the uh, Johansson with the other girl on board because once I start to see that people like each other or maybe there's hope for a relationship and a really high stakes action-packed drama I kind of think that one of the one of the members of the relationship will die and so I kind of thought that he was gonna die really glad he didn't really glad that everybody survived I definitely appreciated a lot of the landscape design as well, like the artwork for a lot of the skies that we saw. I'd be curious to see where they filmed this. I actually kind of want to look that up. Okay, so just doing a quick Google search, it seems like they shot a lot outside in Jordan, and then they had some indoor sets in Budapest and in Hungary. Of course, they used a lot of graphics as well, but I actually thought the graphics were pretty good for this movie. I didn't notice them too much, and I, I felt like they were pretty seamless. Sometimes, with some of the movies that we've watched here on this channel, I do notice that the CGI or the graphics might not be so good. I felt like for this one, it was pretty good. So you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think. I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to a lot of effects or graphics or anything like that. I'd be curious to see how they shot that storm scene in the beginning of the movie, because that was, that was really scary. <laughs> that really affected me. And I, I, I wonder if that was all just green screened and they put that in effects in post, because I feel like that was, done really well and looked really effective. It, it definitely freaked me out and definitely dropped me in 
to some pretty uh, high stakes intensity right in the beginning of the movie, which I wasn't expecting. I definitely thought this movie was going to be a little bit slower paced and we were maybe going to build to Matt Damon being alone. I didn't think the movie was just going to start with him being alone and the whole movie was going to be figuring out how to get to him. So I did appreciate that because that was a little bit unexpected. But yeah, it's just a fun movie. I had a good time watching it and it was a fun suggestion. I really appreciate it from you guys and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys wanna see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Until the next one, stay golden. Bye.